All right, so I downloaded the installer for North Korea's Red Star OS. Now we're going to install this and see how it works. I really don't care if Kim Jong-un or the North Korean government is watching this, they can all kiss my ass. So I managed to find a modified English version here. It still looks like not everything's in English, but we're going to just click next. And I actually already installed this. I just wanted to show you guys the installation process. So I'm going to click install up here and click next. And we can see from the very beginning that they've basically ripped off the Mac OS UI here. I'm just gonna type in my account information and I'll come back in a second. All right, I've got that typed in, I'll just click next. And we're actually going to connect this to the internet. I'm just going to select use DHCP on the network setup and I'll click next. Now it thinks we're in Pyongyang. I am actually in Ottawa, Canada. Now is it dumb to tell the North Korean government exactly where I am? Probably, but I don't care. We'll just click next. And it is actually 6.55 p.m. So I'm just going to adjust that. That is 18.55 p.m., 24 hour time. I'll just click apply and I'll click next. And I'll just click install. Now this part's gonna take a few minutes. I'm just gonna let it do its thing and we'll come back once this is done. Now, I did wanna notice we do have the macOS Beach Ball. So it's pretty much a rip off of macOS. It's actually based on Fedora Linux, but they've customized the UI to look exactly like macOS. All right, looks like the installer's finished. I'm just gonna click reboot and I'll come back in a second. All right, we have the boot menu for Red Star OS. I'll just hit enter. And that's a nice boot screen. So I'll just wait until we get to the login screen. Now it looks like we have a ripoff of the old Mac OS login screen. I've just typed in my password and I'll hit enter. And it looks like we are in Red Star OS. So I wonder if we have like an about this Mac menu. I can't read this, but yeah, we can see that we're in Red Star OS. My next goal is to get VMware tools installed in this. I don't know if that's ambitious or if it's even gonna work, but make sure that you're subscribed if you wanna see me do some more stuff with this operating system. We're gonna check it out and see exactly what it's all about.